high beautiful people of the most high god so the father wants me to talk to you about the judgments and curses of god on the thieves the robbers the defrauders and the bloody city it says woe to the bloody city because it's full of lies and robbery all right so god's judgment and his curse is in the house of the thieves his curse is in the house of those who steal his curse is on the bloody city and he's avenging these things and he wants me to read the scriptures and about stealing and the judgments and curses that are upon the people who are thieves robbers defrauders and the bloody city which is babylon because it's full of lies and robbery and god hates robbery now let's get into it beautiful people of god and we're going to get into the curse that's upon them isaiah 61 and 8 for i the lord love judgment i hate robbery for burnt offerings and i will direct their work in truth and i will make an everlasting covenant with them so god loves judgment and he hates robbery okay and we're also going to speak in this video about what what you need to do for god's judgment and curse to be removed off you if you're a robber a thief and a defrauder that you have to restore back double what you stole or some of you have to restore back seven folds what you stole and there's going to be a curse in your house it's already in your house god wants you to know if you're any of those things one peter 4 and 15 but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other man's matters so you're not supposed to be suffering yourself as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer or a busybody in other man's business a busybody in other man's business is being nosy a gossiper in other people's business nosy people mark 10 and 19 Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, def defraud not. So it's a commandment not to steal and not to defraud. Honor thy father and thy mother. Now 1 Thessalonians 4 and 6, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother. So you're not supposed to go beyond and defraud your brother in any matter. In any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such as we also have forewarned you and testify so god is the avenger of all who, who who are defrauded so god will avenge anyone who has been defrauded and stolen from the being defrauded is a form of stealing and robbery as well because they're defrauding you from what is yours so god will avenge anybody who was defrauded and things have been stolen from them and robbed from them and that's why it says because that the lord is the avenger of all such as we also have forewarned you and testify and it's a commandment not to steal and not to defraud so god will avenge those people you stole from he'll take vengeance on you leviticus 19 and 13 thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor neither rob him the wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. Now, Proverbs 6 and 30. Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his, his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore seven folds. He shall give all the substance of his house. So some of you have to, if you're, you have to restore seven folds what you stole and give all the substance of your house and some of you have to give back double exodus 22 and 7 if a man shall deliver unto his neighbor money or stuff to keep and it be stolen out of the man's house if the thief be found let him pay double so any thief that's found out shall pay double now exodus 22 and 4 if the thief be certainly found in his the theft be certainly found in his hand alive whether it be ox or ass or sheep he shall restore double so if you stole one shoe from someone you got to return two shoes if you stole ten dollars you got to restore 20. 
Zechariah 5 and 3. This is the curse that's in the house of the robbers, the thieves, and the defrauders. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. Zechariah 5 and, to Zechariah 5 and 4. I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swears falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. So the curse that's in the house of the thieves and those who swear falsely will stay in their house until their house be consumed with timber and the stones thereof. So everything of their house be consumed. Now, Proverbs 29 and 24. Whoso is partner with a thief hates his own soul. He hears cursing and berates it not. Proverbs 15 and 27. He that is greedy of gain troubles his own house, but he that hates gifts shall live. Because people who are greedy of, greedy of gain, they usually steal physically and spiritually from their people in their household. Your house is your family. People in your family usually steal, who are greedy from greedy of gain, usually steal from the people in their household physically and spiritually. Now, um, Proverbs 11 and 17, the merciful man does good to his own soul. So if you're a merciful man and you stole, what will you do? You'll restore sevenfolds what you stole because you love your own soul and you don't want it to perish. So you're going to do the things of repentance and faith without works is dead. So your repentance is your faith part and your works is returning the double, double fools what you stole, restoring double what you stole. The merciful man does good to his own soul. So you made a mistake, you can learn from it. You sinned, but you can repent from it. But you also, there's a work that needs to be done if you're a thief or a robber. You need to restore that double or seven folds. And then he wants to talk about the bloody city because it's full of lies and robbery, which God hates. Now, Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, says God, God says, what hast thou to do to declare my statues or that thou shouldst take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hates instruction and cast my words behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consents with contented consents with him and has been partaker with adulterers. So what does it tell you? It tells you in Proverbs that whosoever partners with a thief hates his own soul. Psalms tells you when thou sawest a thief, then thou consented with him and has been partaker with adulterers. Now, John 10 and 10, the thief comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and have it more, that they might have it more abundantly. Now, Job, Job 24 and 14, the murderer rising with the light kills the poor and needy and in the night is as a thief. So have you ever heard that saying, every thief is a murderer and every murderer is a thief? The thief comes not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. Job tells you the murderer rises with the light, kills the poor and needy, and is like an and in the night is as a thief. So you ever heard that saying, every thief is a murderer and every murderer is a thief? And every liar is this that this all goes in together. John ten and one. Verily, verily I say unto you, he that enters not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Now Nahum three and one Woe to the bloody city, for it is full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Now Ezekiel 24 and 6. Wherefore, thus says the Lord God, Woe to the bloody city, for the pot whose scum is therein, and whose scum is not gone out of it. Bring it out piece by piece. Let not let, let no lot fall upon it. 
So these are judgments that are going to be done on the bloody city Babylon because it's full of lies and robbery. Ezekiel 24 and 9. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, woe to the bloody city. I will even make the pile for fire great. Ezekiel 7 and 23. Make a chain for the land is full of bloody crimes and the city is full of violence. Ezekiel 22 and 2. Now thou son of man, will thou judge, will thou judge the bloody city? Yeah, thou shalt show her all her abominations. We know Babylon, God refers to her as her, the daughter of Babylon, a her. So the bloody city is Babylon, the great city. Um, we went through that in other previous videos. So God is judging the bloody city because it's full of lies and robberies. And those who who have who swore falsely by God's name, the lies, the curses in their house and robbery, the curses in their house of the people of Babylon, whose houses are full of lies and they swore falsely. Now, Zechariah, what does it say? Zechariah 5 and 3 to 4. Thus then said he unto me, This is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off as one on that side according to it. I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swears falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. So how do you get out of these punishments? You either got to restore seven folds what you stole, or you got to restore double what you stole, and you have to repent because your judgment is upon you from God. Your, the curse is already in your house, as he's telling you. The judgment's already there for you. So it's either you repent from your thieveries, your robberies, your defrauding, because it's being judged right now. Like, this is the year of recompenses. It's either you're going to reap the good that you sown, or you're going to reap the evil that you sown. And he wants me to know that, you to know that robberies, thieveries, defrauding is being judged. And stay blessed. You could take this up with fasting and praying. And I hope you understand the word that is given. Judgments and curses of God on thieves, robbers, defrauders, and the bloody city because it's full of lies and robberies. Stay blessed.